Thanks for tuning in. I'm Karen Lair with a look at the top news headlines for Sunday, February 16th. Yet another brand new climbing gym is opening its doors in the Treasure Valley. The Commons Climbing Gym will host their grand opening on the Boise bench next Saturday. When Urban Ascent closed its doors, eight climbers with ties to that gym pulled their resources to make this new facility a reality. I don't know if it's completely set in yet, but it's pretty amazing to see the reception and I have not heard any negative words yet, which is even better. <laughs> the Commons Climbing Gym can accommodate 200 climbers at a time. If you want to watch the full story, just head to sixonyourside.com. Well, Washington State's three Republican U.S. House members are outraged after Oregon Governor Kate Brown called for breaching four dams on the Snake River in Washington. Brown, a Democrat, sent a letter to Washington's Democratic Governor Jay Inslee offering her support for removing the dams from the Lower Snake River in Washington. Last year, Washington Governor Inslee spearheaded an initiative to gather opinions from residents about the possibility of removing the dams, which fish advocates blame for driving Idaho's wild salmon and steelhead toward extinction. The results of that study will likely be made public in the next few weeks. Idaho Representative Mike Simpson has also been studying the hydroelectric system on the Lower Snake River. He says breaching the four dams is a possible solution to declining fish runs as the Bonneville Power Administration struggles financially. Governor Brad Little has not endorsed the removal of those dams, but he organized a salmon working group to search for solutions. Well, many people may have the day off Monday for President's Day and many businesses will also be closed. Banks, state and federal government offices will be closed along with post offices. Most schools and libraries will not be open Monday and some city buildings, including City Hall, will also be closed. Trash collection will run on a normal schedule as well as Valley Ride City buses. Well, Boise State fans packed Extra Mile Arena on Sunday afternoon to cheer on the Broncos as they hosted San Diego State, the fourth ranked team in the country. Bronco Nation was fired up, providing an electric atmosphere, but the fans also saw why the Aztecs haven't lost a single game this year. San Diego State defeated Boise State 72 to 55, but despite the loss, diehard Broncos fans showed their continued support for BSU basketball. Best crowd I've seen in a long time. I've been coming to games my whole life, and this is one of the best atmospheres I've ever seen. Awesome, and really appreciate the fans coming out tonight. This team really uh, goes off on what the fans do. That's the energy they get from the fans. You can just tell how loud it is in there today. Boise State only has three games left in the regular season. The Broncos will be traveling to San Jose State this Wednesday before returning to Extra Mile Arena for their last home game of the season against New Mexico next Sunday. Now, Steve Liebenthal with Beyond Your Side Forecast. And after a wet Sunday in the Treasure Valley, we'll see things start to clear up a bit, but there is the possibility of some snow showers early in the morning on Monday, President's Day. So be aware of that possibility, if, especially if you have to head out and go to work. But our uh, showers really decreased during the afternoon and evening on Sunday. There is another weak disturbance moving in, and that's why we have the potential of some snow on the valley floor early in the morning on Monday, and we will see more snow for the mountains, anywhere from two to four inches for places like McCall and Stanley. And after that, skies clear out. We get plenty of sunshine for the middle part of the week, but those temperatures are going to drop. There's that disturbance that's going to come through, and behind that we have high pressure building in. So clear skies for the middle of the week, but some chilly morning low temperatures. 30% chance of that snow early in the morning on Monday with a high temperature of 40 in the afternoon. And then clearing skies, but those clear skies result in some chilly temperatures. 19 for the low on Wednesday, 17 for the morning low on Thursday. Temperatures start to rise as we move toward the weekend. Next Saturday, a high temperature of 52 degrees before the next storm moves in on Sunday. For the latest news headlines and up-to-the-minute forecast, go to sixonyourside.com.